Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. So today we are doing keychains, and in particular, um, keychains made out of wine corks um, with these cute little charms dingly dangling off of there. Um, so um, let's not waste any time. This is going to be a quick one. Here's what you'll need. Obviously, you'll need a wine cork, and you can use um, the one I just showed you was um, a cork, an actual cork cork, and then this one is synthetic. You can use either one, and I'll use this one to show you. Um, that it's really no different. You'll need two eye bolts as such. They do make smaller ones um, and you can feel free to use those although I really like this um, thicker one for the place where the keys attach um, just to make sure it's a nice heavy piece. You'll need um, a keychain of some sort, a place to put your keys and as I did on this one you can use the round one that sort of um, slides onto the slides your keys on or like this one here I'm going to use that just has this um, spring loaded piece here um, you don't have to bother wiggling keys through two pieces of metal you'll also need um, three different uh, actually three but two different sizes of uh, washers so and I like to use different colors so I'll show you here what I did this one here on the top part has a silver and a, a brass one stacked on top of each other. And then whatever the largest one is that you use on the top, you'll need another one of those to use on the bottom. And you can actually use a small one as well, um, whatever your preference is. So you'll just need three washers. And then for the bead part, you'll need the actual bead that you're going to use. You'll likely need two other seed beads um, just to make sure that your actual focal bead doesn't fall off of your head pin, which you will also need one head pin. And a few jewelry tools that you'll need for that. You'll need a flush cutter, these ones here, to cut your wire. You'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, which are here. And then you'll need another pair of pliers that have some sort of uh, rounded nose. Um, these are for making jump rings and such. Um, but you can also get the graduated um, pliers as well where it's um, skinnier at one end and then gets fatter as opposed to here I have um, two um, unique sizes on each side of the plier. Either one doesn't matter but you do want to have a larger uh, round piece to make your charm with. Okay so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is grab your cork and if you're lucky you'll have a hole already started um, from where the um, the cork remover was put in or the corkscrew but it really doesn't matter this is very easy to do so you're gonna take an eye bolt you're gonna take um, one of your washers the larger washer and stick it on there and then you'll take your other colored smaller washer and stick it on top and then you're just gonna start screwing into the cork with your bolt you know, try to make sure you find center so that it looks right. And it goes in pretty easy peasy. And that's the top part. Then you're going to flip it over and just put one more. And, and honestly, these washers really are just for looks. Um, it just looks a little bit more finished. If you don't want to put the washers, you don't have to. Um, it has nothing to do with keeping the eye bolts in. Um, it's really just decorative, so up to you. Go ahead and punch that in the center and start twisting. And if you did want to use smaller eye bolts, this is the one that I would use the smaller one on. But I like the uniformity of the two larger ones, so that's what we're going to go with. Alright. So once we're in there, you can add your keychain piece. Be careful, these ones are spring-loaded. They don't unscrew. I think there are some that they make that way, but um, if you push this the wrong way and don't hold on tight, you'll have springs and pieces flying everywhere. Okay, so just open that up and then slide your the top part of your keychain in and let go. And that's fabulous. I love that. I am changing all of my keychains to these type. Um, it's just so much easier to... Um, trade keys. Um, often I need to borrow a truck and leave my car um, just for when I do craft fairs and stuff. So 
Um, and I, I really, can I use the word despise? I despise these um, when you remove keys as much as I do anyway. All right, so if you wanted to, you could stop right here or you could have stopped before you put this in and just put this on here and, and been done with it. It just depends on how much um, bulk you have in your purse or whatever. Um, but I'm going to add a charm because I think they're pretty. So from there, you're going to take your bead and your head pin and just check and see if your head pin will fit your bead. And it doesn't. My head pin comes right straight through. So I'm going to need to add some glass beads. Just some small, um, smaller seed beads. Then your bead. And then for the sake of uniformity and to keep your bead, um, your head pin from rolling all over the place, I add another bead. Okay, so now you have a bit that looks like that. You're going to take your needle nose pliers and put it right at the top of that top bead as such and you're going to bend it 90 degrees or just about 90 degrees. Take your cylinder, find the largest part of your cylinder and put it almost up to the corner of the 90 degree angle. And then you're going to take your head pin tail and you're going to wrap it around to the front of your piece. All right, so let me get a better angle, okay? And then once you're there, just wrap that tail behind your bead and make an almost like a crisscross with the rest of your head pin. Let me take this off and you can see what I mean. Okay, so it's not quite closed, but it will be um, a little bit easier to just keep everything in place while you're putting this together. So take your bottom eye bolt and slide it into that head pin. So now that you have your bead onto the eye hook, you're going to take your needle nose pliers and you can probably do, you can probably start wrapping this wire around that straight part of the head pin um, by hand, but as soon as it starts to get a little bit shorter, it's going to be really hard to turn. So I'll start off with my hand and then we'll see how far we can go. So essentially you're going to wrap your head pin around itself, securing um, all the beads in place. You could just as easily use a, um, a jump ring instead of doing all this wire wrapping, but I think a jump ring um, on a keychain in your purse jumping around and whatnot is not exactly really um, going to keep everything together. So I like to have a nice closed loop here. So I'm going to just give this a little tug. You don't have to wrap all the way to the end. I just like to make sure that there's one complete circle um, wrapped around that head pin. So now that we're at that point where there's at least a circle, I'm going to cut off this extra piece with my flush cutters. And then I'm going to use my needle nose pliers again just to tap down the rest of that tail so you don't get it stuck on any kind of clothing or poke yourself with it. So there is your completed wine cork keychain. Um, all of your keys will fit nicely and even your all those um, stupid grocery store cards that you have to carry with you everywhere um, will also fit on there. And it has a little personalized charm which is great if you're doing these as gifts say at Christmas time and you just want to do one for everyone you know. Um, they could all look the same except everyone has a special charm, something that means something special to each person. Um, or if you're doing these as wedding favors they're really quick and really simple and you could quickly personalize these with say your initials dangling from there or the year that you were married or um, any of those other charms that say like love or whatever. Um, but just there's lots of fun ideas so um, think about how you can use some of these corks and keep them from the landfill and um, make them into something useful.